Hello everybody. Sorry I didn't get this um, posted last night, but it moved on into today. So after, well you know what, first before I do say anything, I would like to say thank you to everybody who commented on my question regarding skulls video. Each and every one of you had so many great ideas and I really just, I was so pleased and so appreciative to see the supportive comments and the, the great ideas and um, that just thrilled me. You guys, I, now I know if I ever have a question, I can put it out there to you and I will get so many great replies and answers that um, I'll, I'll never really, I don't know how to say it without sounding cheesy, but I, it feels good to know that I'm not alone in making these kinds of decisions. Uh, yeah, I guess that sounds a little cheesy, but whatever. Um, I did originally think this was like a adult and baby horse skull, and I was wrong. Um, Cirque and... I'm sorry, I can't remember right now, but a couple other people posted that this large one definitely was bovine or uh, some sort of cattle skull. And then um, also that this little one is a deer skull. And so I looked online and that seems to be correct. And I don't know why, but somehow it makes me feel better to know it's not a baby horse. <laughs> it really upset me to think a little baby horse just died out there of starvation or something. But apparently these belong to adult animals and I'm gonna hope that they had nice long lives. In any case, I have rinsed them off with water and they're drying a little bit now. And I bought this nice Texas sage plant to go on top of the spot where I'm going to bury the skulls. So that makes me happy. I think this is a better way to go than the original rose bush idea. But I did bring out my roses, so I'm going to use those in the burying process and I have a stick of let's see what is that cedar and cedar and dragon's blood that doesn't seem quite right cedar and something cleansing burning right now maybe it was cedar and rosemary um okay well anyway I'm not going to focus on that I have that burning. I have my little tiny sage smudge stick out here that I'm going to smudge the skulls with. And then before I put the dirt on top, I'm going to put the rosebuds on top of them. And so last night, it was very hot, but I did manage to get a fairly decent sized hole dug. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. That white bar you see there is actually for the um, sprinkler system. So I tried to stay away from that. And yeah, so that's where everything is right now. I promised an update and I did get the um, bulk of the wood pile that was here moved last night. And it was full of critters. There was like little lizards in there and slugs and millipedes and uh, doodle bugs and <laughs> all manner of creature was living in that little wood pile. And so that was fun. Little, little, little creatures like that don't bother me. My grandson was out here with me and he was kind of freaking out a little bit. But then he was excited and then he was kind of screaming. <laughs> and I said, you know nothing to be scared of. They're not going to bother you. This is their environment. So we're all cool with that. And Marley Pants out there under the tree enjoying herself. And 
Okay. So, yep. I guess this is as much as I'm going to show right now. I will film a little bit more once I get the bush seated in its spot. And, uh, alrighty. I'm going to end this one here. Okay. You can see they are now in their resting spot. And, um, I did a little blessing, a little meditation, and um, sprinkled them with some of the rose petals. And now they can just rest in peace and return to the earth from whence they came. I'm going to cover these now with some dirt and then move on to the planting of the sage bush. Okay, I wanted to wait till it started to get a little bit darker outside. So I could show you how things are looking. I've got the sage plant placed in its little spot. It's looking nice and happy there. I added this um, solar powered mushroom. It's pretty cool. Changes colors. And the top is uh, decorative glass. When it's not lit, the glass just looks blue. So, I don't know how well it's going to show up at nighttime. But there's that. You can see the little panel that absorbs the sunlight during the day. I guess I got out in enough time to charge it up to work tonight, which is neat. And... I've already shown you this. Let's see, that stick there that I have going tonight is dragon's blood and patchouli. And these other little solar powered things are coming on. So, back up so you can kind of see how it's doing. So there we go. I spoke with the nursery. I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but um, they're going to have fresh moonflower, uh, moonflower vine seeds coming in this week, which is perfect. I want to get them started before the full moon. And I'll have that vine developing in that back corner behind the bird bath. And then I still have space for some more things, but I didn't want to just jam it full of stuff. I just want to kind of see how I felt about things developing as they are. Okay, I hope this finds everybody having a good evening, and I thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you many bright blessings. Bye.